damn high here. Damn high. Still there. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Welcome, race fans, to the Middle and Middle Racing League. A short yet great race here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We're about to get the drop of the green flag. Hold your line. Native Dillon and Freya Chantel lead them down the famed yard of bricks. We are underway racing at Indy. This is a 13% race. Time three wear. Already got one car. Oh, spinning and into the wall hard. That's caught in the 14. Lynn Boyer. His day done early, at least for stage one, as the rest of the field begins to single file itself out. And the 78 car looks ahead, forging his way into turn number three in front of the two. That's Motorsports game there. They've been able to muscle their way around second place starter Chantel in that three car, but the two a little bit loose off the corner. Three looks underneath, trying to take advantage, and here comes Jordan Hack, trying to follow suit. All this action happening behind. Oh, into the wall goes the two, Motorsport. Hit the wall right there, and the three is also spinning on two wheels. Was Austin Dillon. They gather it back up. Contact between the three and the two sent that two car into the outside wall in turn one. You have to wonder if there's some retaliation as the two car looks underneath aggressively trying to get back to the back bumper of the three car, misses the corner, slides up the racetrack and loses a ton of time in turn three. Chantel muscles away. Meanwhile, Jordan Hack left to try and run down the leader. There's the 18 car in fifth position. That is Malik. Able to get around the troubles that plagued the 14 car early. As we go through the field, the 78 car looking for the one win that got away was a dominant factor in this race one year ago back in 2017 until a late race incident with him and Kyle Busch took them both out of contention. Now the 78 team, which is no more in 2018, looking to add one more win to the resume as Dylan leads here at Indy. The 11 car, Denny Nealon, left to try and think what might have been during this year's Brickyard 400. After a late race yellow allowed the two car, Brad Kowalski, to storm him underneath down the back straightaway and take the win away. Hamlin winless in 2018. He wants nothing more than to return back to victory lane in a big way. What a way to get the one that got away if he could get the win here at Indy today. We are not live streaming, unfortunately, so I do not have the results as far as how many laps are left in the stage or how many laps these guys are good on field but as I mentioned before before the countdown to green we have a 13% race only time free wear very short distance and I do believe that is the end of stage one already it is so the 78 of Dylan your stage one winner here and we'll reset the field for stage two here in a moment. We're watching NASCAR on NH3.
Welcome back, getting stage two underway here at Indy. Who will kiss the yard of bricks here today? Green flag is back out, the 78 car. Leads them down to the turn number one. Stage two, on way, here at Indy. Man, the two and the 11, beating and banging. Oh, there it is. Chantel off the track, back across into Hack. Hack doing a well of a job here to keep it off. Couple of cars spinning in turn two. The 14 of Todd and the 18 of Malik. Man, we have not been able to get through turns one and two on a restart here today. An aggressive move. We'll see if that places up under caution. It does. A manual caution here today. For the first time after an incident. This might be a quickie yellow. I do believe they're doubling up already. Hold your line. Stay up high. Stay high. Still there. So just our second caution flag, and we'll see if we can get this race under green flag conditions. Hopefully Still there. further than turns one and two. Simbi elects to start on the inside. Dylan has led every lap here so far tonight. The field has been mostly jumbled behind him. Green flag in, back out. Motorsport didn't get a good run on that outside. Here comes Hack, trying to take advantage. Looking underneath, side by side, heading to turn number two. Hack gets on the apron, gathers it up, still forges ahead of the two, side by side into turn number two. Toyota versus Ford. And the Chevy Chantel adds himself into the mix. The 14 off the pace, as well as the 18. In the background, four cars to settle it here at Indy. Motorsport not giving up. Strong move to the outside, and he'll clear Hamlin into turn four. Single file, the rest of the field goes. Dylan trying to get away, forces ahead by about three car lengths. In front of the two car, here comes the 11, right behind him, and the three car with him. The MDA car knows this, sticks that car right on the bottom. What a great line. And the two has trouble off turn two. The 11 car trying to take advantage of that misfortune. They're side by side. Hack with help from the three car, trying to pass the two on the outside. Ooh, two way up the racetrack, and that's gonna cost them a ton of time. Two positions in one turn. Here comes the 11 there. The gap considerably has grown between first and second. Now about 10 car lengths in front is Dylan as the 11 tries to chase him down. This 78 car has been smooth all day long. Stage one, with the extension of that one pace lap, ran four laps. I can't imagine this stage to be longer than that. So we must be coming to the end of stage two here momentarily. Look at the 70 car trying to break the draft that allows the 11 car some clean air on the front bumper, but really, really hurts the 11 car as far as trying to get back to the back bumper of the 78. Hack has made up some time though. Think about breaking the draft to that. It can cost you some time if your car is fast enough, and the 11 car is proving to be a fast one here today. Hack has closed that gap. Oh, but loose off the corner right there. The 11 trying to make up time. Timmy car doesn't break the draft this time. Looks to stay to the outside wall. They're screaming into turn three at over 200 miles an hour there, folks. Chantel has settled into the third position. And we are nearing what I can only imagine to be the end of stage two, perhaps this time by. Well under the green flag. Here comes Dylan. Ooh, car in the wall. That was a two. 
Troubles continue. Wow, he lost a, another position there. That was Motorsport. 18 now up to the fourth position. Man, 78 car dominant. What a statement to the rest of the field. If you're going to get the Brickyard 400 win, you're going to have to go through him. He rounds off turn number four for the final time in stage two. And the 78 car is going to bring it down. Winner of stage one and two, Dylan gets it done at Indy. We'll be right back after this quick commercial break. Pit stops are next. And we'll see who has it all figured out on the track to bring you the end of stage three. You're watching NASCAR on NASCAR Heat 3.
June the 18th, something we did not expect. Running for the fifth position, these two got into it at the beginning of stage number three. Well off the pace of the leaders, but fighting for fifth amongst themselves. And that's a good battle. We'll check back in with that in a minute. Meanwhile, the 78 car has gapped the three of Chantel by a considerable distance here. Chantel holding her own in second place. Hack has not been able to regain ground. Lost early from mistakes he made earlier in the stage. Made of Martin Truex Jr. 19 career wins, 20 today. If he could get it done, Dylan having just an amazing day here at Indy. One you dream of. With the exception of Daytona, this might be the most world renowned racetrack, if not the most renowned racetrack in the world. We've seen the emotion out of these drivers here coming across the score. A win here at Indy from the famed catch finch climb and Tony Stewart back in 2005 and 2007. Jeff Gordon getting it done in the inaugural race back in 1994 to just earlier this year with Brad Kozlowski winning the Brickyard Forager for the captain, Roger Pinsky. Now, it all comes down to a now defunct team. Furniture Row Racing is no more. After the 2018 season, thought they could get it done here. What well, just came up one position short to Joey Logano there, but they left with their heads held high. They'll be higher with the win here today. Battle for second, heating up. Chantel has now fallen back into the clutches of the 11 car of Jordan Hack. Ooh, Chantel hits the wall. Here comes the 11. Move Hack to second. Handling falling off as the lap can wind down here at Indy. Almost a short shoot distance between the 78 and the 11. These Toyota Camrys fast today. Oh, Chantel loose in the corner, hard in the outside wall in turn two. That will pretty much seal her fate till third unless we get a caution here at the end of this one. Checking back in with that battle in the back of the pack. You see the 18 falling back to fifth place. That tells me the two able to get around. Wow, Chantel really, really struggling there. I don't know. Well, that's the end of the. That might have been the end of the race. It was. I'm sorry, I missed that. But Dylan has done it. A Brickyard 400 win in the books. To the 14 sliding. I just want to make sure that this is not indeed a caution flag. And we'll wait for official scoring before we go back to make it official. But right now, I believe your Bobby Visor, Martin Joyce Jr., Cole Bird. That team is going to victory lane thanks to Dylan 51792 getting it done, leading all stages here at Indy. The Brickyard 400 is his. What an amazing moment. Jordan Hat finishes second, Chantel in third, Motorsport fourth, Malik in fifth, and Todd bringing up the rear back in sixth. A short race, but a race this 78 team will never forget. Brickyard 400 champions. Congratulations, Dylan, and the whole 78 crew.
For Metal on Metal Racing League, I'm Alex Ned, bringing you live flag-to-flag coverage every week, every Thursday, beginning at 545 Mountain Standard Time. We hope you enjoyed today's race. So long. We'll see you next time.